September 20th, 2017 regular session were submitted for approval. That's what it says. I think it's just the wrong date. Yeah, it's what we submitted for approval at the last meeting. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I changed my date today, too. I did say. Six. Regular session. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Citizens input. From last time or now? From, this is the first one I've been to, so I'm kind of just watching the motion and stuff. I have some questions and stuff. What kind of questions do you got? Uh, What's your name first? Jeremiah Inez. Okay. I live on Apple Street. Okay. Um, my main thing is with the EMT response team because I, I as many of us, as, as most of us in this, in life have medical problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I was wondering if there is a way we can improve the emergency response team because last time I called EMT, I called for EMT. The cop was there within five, within a few minutes. So that wasn't a big deal. If I have epilepsy, and is anybody aware of what epilepsy is? Okay. That in the response time from your EMTs to respond was another ten minutes at least. And I understand it's a volunteer, but is there a way we could kind of make it a? try to transfer it to a full-time firehouse, like where it's have people on staff at all the time where people ain't gotta run, run away from their jobs and you actually have firefighters and EMTs. Is there a way we can kind of work on that to make it available for us? We have discussed that and right now your community can't warrant the expense of full time staffing. Now, is there a way you could ask for the government assistance or any community support, like, you know, from the county? Well, there's always grants for employment, but it's always it's for full time already, not to start up full time. Right. In certain areas, but I mean, we can check into it. 
but I was just trying to check into it too. But I'm just, you know, because sometimes stuff happens and, you know, you guys can't make it there on time because, you know, life. Life happens. That's pretty much all I'm saying. And if there's a full time, so. And then the second thing was, is there, because it seems like to me, everybody I talk to is wanting to leave Argus because of how it's, the taxes are getting higher and not maintaining certain things. Like on our road, we have a tree stump literally grown into the road. And I asked Susan yesterday about it. She said, since it's on their property, but it's growing into like probably wrapping around the septic lines and everything and the homeowners ain't going to do nothing about it. And we're afraid of falling because there's transformers right between me and my neighbor's house. And we don't want to fly and lose our homes. And so is there, I have a lot, I, got, I could be up there all night. I, mean, I have a lot of frustration though because I love medical condition. I could die from having one. And I talk, I mean, I'm just trying to help figure out for the best of the community's health coverage area, you know. Not just mine, but everybody's. Because we all have relatives that have illnesses or family or siblings or brothers, sisters, it don't matter. Yeah, that was my main concern because it's everybody's problem. We all have it in our life daily. Correct. Well, we've, as, as everybody knows, the town owns no trees. <laughs> it's, it's just the way it is. But right. Since it's growing in, is in our street. Well, I think I sure what you're talking it's about. Pretty Somebody pretty must have had some pull back in the day because that tree is in the road. They poured the curb around that thing. So yeah. somebody must have some pulls so that I'm not having yeah, that tree I'm taken down. So. About, so. Yeah, and we're afraid that it's, it's dead. Yeah, it, it died, you know, I was going to say it died and, you know, me, we're just worried about our road because if something happens, we're going to you know, lose power and you guys are going to have fires and, you oh. know, that tree shouldn't be still there. They should have taken care of We'll check, we'll check into the tree. Yeah. That's another, that was one of our issues. And we'll check into the... Do you, do you know what the address is where the tree is? 310 Apple Street. That's where the tree is, 310 Apple? Yeah, it's Blue and White House. I live right across the street. Right, so, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. 310 yeah. Apple. It may not be the one I'm thinking of. Yeah, because it's, it's about that far into the road. The root the trunk is, and the top of it's just dead. All right. Well, thank you. We'll, we'll check into the tree, and we're also, we'll also uh, look into seeing what we could possibly do about making a full-time EMT. EMT position. But we'll, we'll see what we can do with it. Well, I'll, I'll also look into some stuff for it, too, because I just wanted to try to help the community best I can to make it a better town and make everybody happier. You know, like even with jobs, I mean, you know, everywhere's losing jobs. It don't matter. Maybe we can figure out uh, something we can do to draw more people here for jobs even. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities out there. It's just how you gotta work it. All right. Thank you. Oh, you're more than welcome. Any other citizens input? What was your name? Jeremy. Jeremy Inez. Jeremy? Jeremy or Jeremiah. You need to know how to spell the last name, I'll help you. It's pretty hard. Y A N E Z. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> welcome. Old business, attorney report. Folks on the 405 South Michigan Street, we turned in our application for the inspection warrant. The court granted that. We got an inspection warrant on the 26th of September. Jamie 
Lindstrom and Chuck DeWitt served that warrant, which is basically amounts to the inspection of that building. They went in there the next day on the 27th. I think they did have some contact with the property owner at that time. Um, but when they went in, um, Jamie can chime in here anytime he wants. He was there to tell you what he saw firsthand. But uh, they noted the condition on the inside of the building. They didn't really, don't know that they saw any major structural issues. Now, we don't have any report yet from Chuck DeWitt waiting to get that. Um, but nothing in there that was, I guess, of immediate concern. Um, the property owner did indicate that they received the letter that we had sent back in August, but instead of contacting Chuck DeWitt to arrange a time to get in there, they simply went down and they did do some cleaning work or did do some of the, uh, address some of the issues that were contained in that letter. Um, but I don't know that they've gotten everything 100% fixed up, taken care of. Um, so end of the day, we are waiting to get the inspection report from Chuck DeWitt. Jim, you can add to it uh, as you see fit, but I think we covered it pretty good. And we're waiting on Chuck's report, but there was, like you said, there was nothing you know, that needed immediate attention. And they did clean up a lot of the things from before, all the pictures that we had, all that was cleaned up. So. No holes in the world. I mean, there was, you know, we'll wait for the report, but there, there was nothing major that needed attention in there, so. That's all I had to report. Thank you, Derek. I move to accept the attorney's report. Second. Yeah, motion is second to accept the attorney report. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Ordinance 2017-22, the salary ordinance. Salary Ordinance 2017-22 will suspend the rules. Pass on all three readings. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Ordinance 2017-21, the 2018 budget. Second reading, second third. <laughs> Just do 
I'll second that. <laughs> Got a motion and a second to pass ordinance 2017-21, the 2018 budget, on the second and third readings. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Abstain. Because we're on the department. Our department we can't legally vote too much. The motion passes. <laughs> Port openings. We have an opening on the Marshall County Tourism, the Planning Commission. And if you're interested, submit a letter of interest to Lisa. Regulations. 
All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Ordinance 2017-23, the Community Crossing Grand Fund. We Grant. have to create a Community Crossing Grant because we were awarded that grant. So we have to create a fund for it according to the DGLF. Um, it'll be fund number 258. We will um, then fund $46,589.78 into that fund, which will be 25% of the $186,359.13 that we got the paving done for. So then at our next meeting, you guys will vote on an additional appropriation for the 46000 to be spent out of that fund. We, we had set the money aside in the last budget, but we didn't have the fund created. That was a new thing that came up this summer that the, the GLF wanted it done that way. So you will vote on an additional appropriation at the next meeting to spend the $46,000 out of that fund. Ordinance 2017-23 is suspend the rules on all three meetings. Second. A motion and a second to do ordinance 2017-23 suspend the rules and pass on all three reads to make a fund for the community crossings grant. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Any other new business? We had discussed a comment box. Were we going forward with that? I thought we voted on it. Was it the minutes? Yes, and then we got it. Um, I don't know if we voted on it, discussed it. We all agreed to it. Thanksgiving table where everybody get around it. All of a sudden, you know, we're, we're involved all in, in it. And, you know, you shouldn't be involved in it except for planning it. And when it happens, you shouldn't be involved in it at all because it's an appreciation dinner for you, too. Well, we just had discussed about the U shape and, you know, people being able to. But I'll make sure we're. Swamp we get, here we go. We get a quote from Swamp Swamp Lake. Lake. Swamp Lake. Swamp Lake. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> first class? Are we going to do anything on time? I asked. I'm not doing it. I just had a call about if we were going to do a scarecrow concert contest this year. 
no concerts. Hey, Paul, do you know anything about that stuff? What's up? Sorry, we're going to contest, maybe decorate the uptown. We haven't done anything on Greenville. I apologize, but that didn't come up at our last meeting, so no. Okay. We were talking other things that the uh, properties and such we'd already brought before the last meeting, so. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. A motion to adjourn. Fight number one. Oh, Flames. All right, how are we doing? Jeez, you are way in your 1102, uh, 1162 or something. Going somewhere, Dustin? Your anniversary was massive. Slow down. Too many hours. At least you're here. I ask you for something else. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Um, of the petition, they're ready to be sent out. We got 957 signatures. So not bad for the petition on the J terms. Um, I'm asking you tonight if you would vote against the J terms. Culver did that in their regular meeting. And I I'm just asking if they had a resolution vote in there or something. I thought they just did an open vote. We can, we can make an open vote, but I think they... Um, just to let the minutes reflect that What's the that? town What's is the officially, that? you know, a for or against the J turns, and then I just need signatures on this new letter that I took out the 10 days, you know, it, it used to say 10 days, and it does not do that anymore. Well, they're passing that down. The streets look good. Came in and out for the lunch, you know. The boys work fast. Are you guys going to do all the streets in our gets or just certain ones? Certain ones, certain years. Depends on the funds. Right. I mean, yeah. I know that happens, you know. Got to run out of money. The other question I had for you was the flagpole's in, yes. and that's going down to Memorial Park, correct? Yes. And wherever the drinking fountain was, we're going to take that out, cut it in there. There's a plaque that goes with it, too? Yes. Anybody have that? Jay Stauffer. Okay. Okay. Well, we're going to get that in here real quick. You just do it one. Or you need to sell a tube or it's a tube, so we'll just oh, cut. Got, yeah, got there's a tube. tube, we'll just put that in there. It's a sleeve, okay. and then uh, that should be easy. The plaque's gonna be the hard part. Figure out how we want to do that. before that we were doing it for 10 days, but then after INDOT's meeting, we decided to extend that period out since the comment period was until October the 9th. But we wanted to get it sent out tomorrow so that it reaches the offices before the 9th. Like a letter to go with this thing, Derek, you think? Or? A letter to go with one. If we want to vote on the. Oh, we're just doing it to put it in our minutes. Oh, okay. I, I just think that I you should officially, I mean, to do a vote would officially put it in the minutes that the town is either for or against. You know what I mean? I don't think that we have the right to do a resolution because it's really not our land. But you can You could do a resolution. Um, we don't have one prepared. It needs to be sent in. Then probably too late. But I mean, if we're just expressing the official right. position of the town of Argus that you're against front jails, which is fine. You can do it by voice vote. You could do a resolution. 
however you want to do it, so, but it just voice vote. All right. I move, I, I move that we uh, put in a minutes that the town council Marcus opposes the J turns at US 31 and 10 and State Road 110. Second. And, and Dewey Street also, yes, correct. We have a motion and a second that we put in the minutes that the town of Argus opposes the J turns at 10 and 31 and 31 and 110. Dewey Street. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Claims 1102 to 1162. Aye. Uh, the, the total docket for this period is $339,120.93. Claim numbers are 1102-861. Top five claims are as follows. IMPA at $176,733.22. Jackson Services at $35,000. Town of Argus Payroll number 19 at $34,337.05. Anthem Health Insurance at $15,629.56 and Republic Services at $12,113.64. The top five claims total $273,813.47 and represent 81% of the total docket. I move to accept claims 1102 through 1161. Second. Got okay, a motion and a second to accept claims 1102 and 1162. 62. Oh, 61. Sorry. 61. Sorry. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. My agenda says 61. I got one. Or 62. Yeah, I got one more thing for Jamie. The trash can. What do we do? Uptown, could we? Well, they should have been through there. Moved everything to the corner, so. Use the same one, so yeah. I, mean, I didn't even go through there this week. Yeah. I went out for a town about it. Yeah, we moved them last week, so I, I haven't heard anything more about it, so. I guess they're working. So the planters were taken away, three of them. Yeah, yeah, those are. Um, I forgot to say in my <clears throat> attorney report that I will not be at the next meeting. I'll see if I can either get Bert or Bert to uh, fill in for that. So okay. just to let you know. All right. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What is that? I won't be at the next meeting either. I won't be at the next meeting either. I'll be on vacation. <laughs> I will not be at the next meeting. I'll be in Middlebury. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We've been at the meeting. So huh? I won't be at the next meeting. meeting. <laughs> Right, well, part timers with Suzanne here. Sorry, no, <laughs> you got to stay in town. Motion to adjourn. Got me out of state too. Yeah. All right, okay. thanks. Motion to adjourn. Yep. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. aye.